don't worry about me. I'm going where I always wanted to go. And when I get there, I'll be saying a prayer for all of you. Uh, Robert Wood was one of the men that carried Father Capon to the death house. And he said, of course, he said, tears were streaming down from our eyes. He said, when they came to take him away, uh, he said, we all stood up and we are all ready to fight. And he said, but Father Capon had a, had a moment of, of, of clarity. They said that he came out of, came out of his sleep and he, he told him, he said, stop. He said, don't fight. Uh, he said, it's all right. He said, let, the, let them take me away. By then I was crying and uh, he said to me, uh, Mike, don't, don't cry on my behalf. I'm going where I always wanted to go. And when I get there, I'll be saying a prayer for all of you. To Ralph Nardella, he said, Ralph, you know the prayers. You've prayed with me. He said, you make sure the people pray. You make sure the men pray. Uh, to others, he told them to, to go on and continue to steal food, continue to get food for the men. And all that he told us, he was telling us to carry on, not, not to, to carry on the, his spirit there in the camp. And so he really uh, not only gave you a, uh, a spirit, but a, another incentive to uh, keep going. And then as he was taken away, he did something remarkable. He blessed the guards. Forgive them, he said, for they know not what they do. The soldiers were amazed that Father Capon was asking forgiveness from this communist guard, but it was in reflection that they recognized how difficult it was for Father Capon to love those who had mistreated him and the other inmates in that prisoner of war camp. How can one not but see the face of Christ in that example? That Jesus on the cross, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. His life is truly to, from birth to death, a, a great example of one who had committed his life to Christ and who now continues to inspire us in that message that he lived and believed and he died so that we might have eternal life through Christ our Lord.